Hello, and you are welcome to myself, Toby, expounding on some news from the past week. Now, David said he'd meet me here, but I've, I've not heard anything from... Oh, oh, David, what have you done? First this week, we hark back to Minecon 2011, where all was exciting and releasey. Remember the guy that got up on stage with his girlfriend and performed an amazing surprise proposal? Well, they, Matt and Asia, got married and everyone's talking about it. It was a Minecraft-themed wedding, full of totally awesome features, even having the Minecraft mob sculptures from the convention most kindly loaned to them, and as you can see, both they and the venue looked fantastic. To check out the rest of the pictures, see their photographer's website below. This week, in the weekly chunk, Lydia has shared the totally awesome block commercial videos, which she particularly enjoyed from last week's contest. This week's contest is so much more simple compared to the creativity and production of last week's. Go to facebook.com slash minecraft, become a fan if you haven't already, and then there'll be a question on there. Who would you like to see from the community highlighted on the weekly chunk? So get on over to Facebook and suggest your ideal person to feature. Shocking, we know, but this week's snap snap snappy snapshot is as incredible as last week's. This changelog is a little more detailed than usual, but again, there's a lot to cover, so we're getting started forthwith. Firstly, villager trading has been changed so that villagers are now able to trade two items. One example of this is found by trading with priests, who can now enchant armour and tools for an emerald price, and the armour itself, of course, plays items like so and reap the enchanted reward. Speaking of enchanting, the system has now been considerably revamped, the max level being lowered from 50 to 30, and bookshelves now max out the highest number possible. Experience orbs can now be obtained from mining ore as well as mobs, although gold and iron do not currently drop them. Also, when items are collected from furnaces after smelting or cooking, orbs are received. Mojang seems to have traps on the brain because tripwires have been added. Create a pair of tripwire hooks like so, and when placed opposite each other within a distance of 18 blocks, they can be linked together by placing string on the ground. When triggered, they'll emit a redstone current for traps or door opening or closing or whatever. Similar to last week's pyramids, jungles have had a dungeon addition this week in the form of the Mayan-like temples. Like the pyramid, they have three floors, but the ground floor is the most fascinating, containing two traps built from the new tripwires. These are hooked up to dispensers that shoot arrows, so really watch your step. Once you've disabled the trap safely, you're free to loot the treasure. There's also a hidden loot chamber, accessed by pulling three levers, but we'll let you explore that one for yourself. Alternatively, you could break the wall and get the rare chilled stone blocks, and some sticky pistons too. The crafting GUI has been added to with another tab for potions, which is a huge relief, no more mods needed for that one anymore. There's also a delete button in the inventory tab so that items can be scrapped easily. The beginnings of an adventure game mode, slash game mode 2, are visible, with the current changes being that blocks are unbreakable in the game mode, although levers etc are interactable. Blocks can also not be placed. An emerald block has been added which can be made by placing 9 emeralds in the crafting area. Jeb has chosen to keep the emerald ore in the game, but of course it's still super rare. Finally, rain drips through leaf blocks when it rains, as it does through other blocks with water. It will also fill up cauldrons over time, and if you've been frustrated by not being able to pause your game in single player, fear not, because that feature has returned. Hoorah! That's all from us this week, guys and girls. Thanks for watching and listening. We hope you've learnt loads. Chat to us and see more up-to-date news on the Facebook at Minecraft Weekly News, and do make our day by subscribing to the MC Spotlights here. If you want to catch up on recent news, there's last week's episode right here, and next week's episode will be linked right here when it rolls around. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.